Hello and welcome to my tutorial on coroutines uh, for Unity. This is a very simple tutorial, covers a lot of obvious stuff, but sometimes the obvious things are what we miss the most when it comes to programming. So here we just have a very simple scene I've made in Unity. It's got a floor, got a wall in the back, and it has a block. This block has a script on it that I've written in C Sharp that you see here. Very simple. Just takes the rigid body, has it asleep, and then when we press the fire one button, in this case I've mapped it to space, the block will wake up and gravity will take over. Let's watch. Pretty straightforward. But now suppose that we wanted there to be a time delay between me pressing the block and the rigid body waking up. In JavaScripting, you can just use yield wait for seconds, but you have to do it a little bit differently in C Sharp using a coroutine, which I'll show right now. So we're going to just open our script back up again, and we're just going to create an enumerator called Countdown. And in that coroutine, we're going to put this command, which will tell it to wait for one second. And then, in here, we will add the countdown start coroutine command. So we run it again, but if you notice, when I press space, it still goes down immediately. There's no delay, no nothing. So what's going wrong here? What's actually going wrong here is the fact that you can't have these commands just sit there by themselves, because there's nothing for the coroutine to actually run other than that countdown. So what you actually have to do is move some things. In this case, we're going to move this line, rigid body wake up into the coroutine itself. Whoops, went a little too far there. Now we save that, let it recompile. And we hit play. And there you go. Let me do it one more time. Play, hit space. And there you go, one second later. And that's basically the trick. The, command, the instructions that you want to have running in the coroutine are the instructions that you want to have be part of this delay. Because otherwise, this, this on its own will do nothing if there's nothing below it to run in, within the coroutine itself. Now again, this may seem like a fairly simple thing, but it's not something I was ever able to figure out on my own. Um, and I even scoured the internet, a lot of Unity answers forms and stuff like that, and nobody really had that clear, distinctive answer until somebody on a forum I go to uh, managed to point out, this is what you're doing wrong. You need the instructions in the coroutine itself, besides just the countdown, or just the time interval. So that was what I had been doing wrong. And now that I know that, I figured it'd be useful to let other people know what uh, needs to be done in order to get their coroutines to work so that they can set up timing and things like that. So that's really about it for this tutorial. Just a very nice, simple, straightforward thing. I'm hoping to do more stuff like this, um, sort of like obvious things that are often overlooked, like I said. Um, and that's about it. Hope to see you guys later.